The introduction of VAR last season in the Premier League <laughs> saw the increase in penalties, 125 in total compared to 92. How many is that, Shaq? That is what? A lot. 33 more yeah. than, the, than the season before. Uh, Mike Riley has addressed that looking ahead to the start of the second season with VAR. He's, of course, the chief of the referees, saying the principles we establish are the referee should look for content as content contact sorry and establish clear contact then ask if that contact has a consequence and then has the player use that content contact to try and win a foul or win a penalty it's not sufficient to say yes there's contact well let me tell you something before was before that, that's always been the case a referee has looked at an incident has looked at the contact and has deemed whether that contact has a consequence of the player going over and then has decided to award the penalty or not. <laughs> that's never changed. But what we saw last season was, oh, there's contact, it's a penalty, isn't it? No, that, that's how people interpreted it. Oh. Referees aren't supposed to interpret it. Well, clearly, Mike Riley is, is referees have been interpreted it wrong, haven't they? No, Why would he come out and make this statement? I, 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 I personally find a very strange statement for a head of referee to, to make because it's a contact sport, we know contact is allowed, and... I, for one, don't, don't suggest that just because there's contact, it's, it's a penalty. So for them to be interpreted that way... No, no, he's not interpreting it that way. He's interpreting... But that's how he's explaining it. No, it no, no, seems no, no, like no. that's how he's... No, no, no. He's, what, he's he's say, what, he's saying is, <laughs> what he's saying is that we're taking a look at the contact scenarios and that if we feel that, there's, that as a consequence of that, the player has embellished it, then we're not going to give the penalties. So we're going, to, we're going to try and make it more of a contact. Am I reading that right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to try and make it... Like, for example, the Raheem Sterling penalty right. in the Denmark game. Yeah. I, think, I think we all believe there was a little bit of contact, but nowhere near enough and the player was going down. I think what he's saying is the Premier League would referee that as no penalty for that reason. Which, but that's which, what they should have been doing anyway. Exactly, which is totally fine. Which is, but my, to my point is, why do you finish that statement with it's no longer enough just to say that there is contact or not. Right. Because then it suggests to me that at some point, between yourselves, that was part of the discussion, yeah. whether there's contact or not, and it never should have been. Right. Jan? Well, I think it's interesting that we are reading a statement from Mike Reilly, and we can't. We kind of have to send that to VAR as well. I mean, it's, it's all it get, it's, it's, it's getting it's getting the whole so complicated. I think for fo football fans and football people like ourselves want we want to have a flow. We want to have things be done quickly. And I think that they, they've learned that through Euros. I think partly that was good. They, they found a, a good way. There were exceptions, of course, as there are. But I think the English system of doing that. They said they, they're going to make the, the, the referees looking more secure in the games, but they, they made it look like muppets sometimes because they, they kind of, they, they were so anxious that they were contact, not contact. And I think that they will do different things now to make the, the, the game flow more. There's going to be the, the offside line, mm -hmm. the, the contact thing in, 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 in the penalty areas. I mean, if you go down and you analyze what's happening in the 18-yard box, I mean, you can give penalties all around the world all the time, you know, and that is the, that is the problem. I think we have to do it quicker. And I think that the, the, the English FA or whoever decides this or Mike really, they saw at the Euros, it's possible to do that. I've also seen in Germany, they have they made it better when they uh, practice that uh, and they, they, they learn from their mistakes. And hopefully the English Premier League will learn from their mistakes because... Because these VAR, that annoys so many people and that, that kind of take away the credibility of a system that, which is good in some areas and totally terrible in some areas. Yeah, they, they, made it, they made it look bad. The big problem for England was, yeah, yeah, I mean, we, I think the Euros was better in terms of referees watching for contact and not being fooled by every contact. The, arm, yeah. the, 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 the handball, arm ball, whatever we want to call it, law, which they tweaked to be a bit, give a bit more leeway to defenders with the arm out a little bit was good. But what we have here is a, a, a classic case of, of, of black and white. The refereeing standards in the Premier League last year, not as a generalisation, but, but a lot of the time when VAR was it called upon was useless. Right. Was bad. Yeah. Right? Mm. And, and just because they're changing what they would say as their interpretation or implementation doesn't mean the decisions are going to be better because the standard of refereeing, I thought in England, was as poor as any country across 
uh, Europe's top leagues. What should happen here with Mike Riley in charge? He should, every weekend when VAR's been operated on, he should have electrodes put on him. And every time there's a really horrendous <laughs> VAR call, the camera should cut to him taking an electric shock. That's how bad it was last year. <laughs> like, like your dog. It's like a dog running through the invisible yeah. fence and it squeals. <laughs> Well, that would be a good game show, maybe. That would be Lang. more fun. <laughs> it would be. Be sure to check out Extra Time, uh, which is always available over on our YouTube channel. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.